I managed to survive the sleep paralysis demon and I'll show you how you can do the same. This is not something you need to be scared about or worried about, okay? It's actually not that bad. I've had the sleep paralysis demon, like this figure standing over me while I'm sleeping, many times. For those of you who don't know, uh, sleep paralysis demon is basically when you're, you're asleep or you're half asleep and you can't move, your physical body is kind of paralyzed. And then in that state of being paralyzed where you can't move, you sense, see or feel a dark figure looking over you. This is very common. Uh, if you Google it, you'll find that this happens to uh, lots of people. Uh, and there's nothing to be worried about. It's not like some weird demonic ent entity or anything like that. It's very natural. Basically what it is, is that it's just you and your brain are in this hyper, not lucid, but you're in this kind of in-between state where you're not fully awake and you're not fully asleep. So you still, you can see hallucinations and the most common hallucination in that state when you can't move, maybe it goes down to like our genetic fears or like our base uh, programming, is a figure. Because one of the scariest things you can imagine uh, possibly when you can't move is a random figure in your bed, in your room, looking over you. I don't know why, <laughs> uh, but you can research it. There's entire subreddits about sleep paralysis figures and things like that. Um, but to me, basically, it's just like um, an illusion. It's a, it's a trick. It's, it's not actually there. It's not real. Uh, so basically what happened, the way you survive it or the way you, you know, deal with it is you just remind yourself. Much of personal growth and spiritual growth is purely just awareness, being aware of something. So just be aware of it. Just realize that, you know, it's this idea, this figure, uh, you can't move and just sit there with that awareness. Don't do anything. Don't try and change. Don't try and move. Don't try and escape in any way. Just lay there, right? Just And deliberately just lay there. Tell yourself, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to lay here. Uh, you know, I'm not going to move. And just remind yourself, talk to yourself in your mind. You know, remind yourself, this is just a trick. This is just an illusion in my mind. It's just the same as a dream or a nightmare. And all dreams and nightmares end, right? And also, all dreams and nightmares don't really affect you. They, they can't harm you. They're not real. They're just kind of shadows in the wind, okay? Uh, so, but the problem is, when you try and move, okay, when you try and, like, jump out of it and escape, of course, you're in paralysis, the, the, the definition of it is sleep paralysis. So when you try and escape that paralysis, usually you can't. And so, of course, what's that going to do? Well, you're going to be more stressed. You're going to be more scared. And then that fear, that stress and fear, is going to create more of this sense of helplessness. And you might even see, it might even last longer than it has to. So really the key is just to be aware of it and then tell yourself it's not real but deliberately, and this is the most important part, don't try and escape it. Because when you try to escape it, you meet the resistance. It's the same as when you try and manifest something. Uh, or when, yeah, w w when you try and manifest something, if you, if you push and really try and resist something, or, you know, focus on what you don't want, you're just going to get more of it. You know, what you focus on, you get more of. And I, uh, there's been very famous quotes about this. I can't remember any off the top of my head, but basically... You, what you focus, you feed. You, you get more of that. And you may have seen this in your own life, okay? If you're constantly worried about things, stressing out about the worst case possible scenarios, you might find that you experience those bad scenarios more often than other people. And it's not because it's like un you're unlucky or it's random. It's usually because what you focus on, you give your energy to, and you're basically kind of broadcasting to the universe and telling it... I want more of these situations, and it just responds. It just mirrors back to you what you're focusing on. It doesn't really care what you focus on. It just gives you more of the things you are focusing on. So same thing applies to uh, manifestation, is the same thing that applies to the sleep paralysis, figure, demon, hag, whatever you want to call it. So have you ever experienced this?